Rugged and reliable, the Awesome is one of the most feared battle mechs of all time. We're lucky to have one on our side, Commander. But there are several misperceptions about the design that mean we can get a lot more out of the mech than how it's traditionally used. Let's go over its stats in Battletech Classic, and I'll show you how to pilot the Awesome to its maximum potential. Production year, 2665. Star League Era. Name, Awesome. AWS-8Q. Weight, 80 tons. Faction, All Inner Sphere. Comstar listed role, Sniper. The Awesome's brutally simple design suits it well for the battles of the Secession Wars. The mech is armed with three Krius PPCs as its main weapon. And when combat closes to short range, the Awesome can charge and finish off the target with its mace-like battle fist and backup Diverse Optics Type 10 small laser located on the head. Originally produced in the Free Worlds League by Technicron Manufacturing on the planet of Savannah, the Awesome was intended to replace the Star League's aging Striker battle mech. The Awesome's superior design quickly made it the primary assault mech of all the Great Houses. Because of this success, a second factory on Demeter, a planet on the Federated Suns territory, began producing it as well. The Awesome's durability and widespread demand during the Star League era means that even after nearly 200 years of constant warfare, it still makes up between 7-24% to of all assault mechs deployed by the successor states. After the second factory on Demeter was destroyed in the First Secession War, the Free Worlds League became the only successor state capable of producing new Awesomes. This is the reason why it's the largest user of this greatly desired assault mech. Offensively, the Awesome is outstanding. Its job is to punch holes in enemy mech's armor with its three PPCs. These holes can later be followed up by mechs with critical hit type weapons like the SRM. While many mech warriors blindly follow the age old tradition of firing the Awesome's PPCs in a 2 3 2 pattern, we can increase the damage by 10% by firing three PPCs for three rounds before firing two of them to cool back down to zero heat. Pilots can choose to boost their short term damage in exchange for sustained damage by firing three more volleys of three before cooling down. We'll be covering the proper way to do this in our pilot briefing a bit later in the video, but before we do, we should talk about the other incorrectly held belief, and that is the awesome should stay out of melee range. This is wrong. A well executed charge from 3 hexes or more will do more expected damage than its PPCs and generate up to 7 rolls on the hit location chart. This can be viewed as a one-time use critical hit weapon the Awesome uses to follow up on the holes it blew open earlier with its PPCs. Defensively, the Awesome is also excellent. With 15 tons of armor, it's incredibly hard to take down. This means rather than standing back at long range like its sniper roll implies, the Awesome should close to 7-12 to 12 hexes where its PPCs are more accurate and trade blows with other heavies and assaults. Internally, the Awesome has good padding from critical hits and has a zero risk of ammunition explosion. Its weapons are spread all over its chassis, which allows it to keep fighting even if missing arms or torsos, making it the very definition of zombie mech. The Awesome's excellent armor and defense comes at a cost, however. It's one of the slowest assaults with a speed of 350. This makes it unsuited to environments with heavy terrain like swamps and means if unsupported, it may be caught in positions where it must either win or die. While there have been many variants over the years, none of them match the durability and effectiveness of the original 8Q. Small modifications may be made to optimize the armor, but other than that, the mech is near perfect for what it's designed for, anchoring the battle line and helping win mech-on-mech -mech battles. While I have yet to analyze all the assault mechs available to us, Commander, I feel I can safely rank the Awesome as at least an A-tier mech for an initial grade it will likely be a strong contender for the S-tier. While speed is a notable weakness, we can mitigate this with clever deployment and putting it in lances that can support it properly. Because it's an integral part to any battle mech formation but is frequently misused, let's deep dive on how to get the most out of this key piece. M By the way, Commander, if you'd like to hire me as a tactical advisor for your mercenary company, all you need to do is subscribe. Proper use of the awesome starts before any mechs have deployed to the battlefield. To compensate for its slow speed, commanders must predict the location where the main fight will take place and find favorable terrain for the awesome to position itself there. The ideal position will have four characteristics. 1. A clear line of sight over the center of the battlefield, choke point, or key objective, preferably with elevation. 2. Within 7-12 to 12 hexes of where slow enemy heavies and assaults will end up fighting from. 3. Behind partial cover to reduce incoming damage by 22-25%, to 25%, or in heavy or light woods if this is not available. 4. Behind a friendly brawler like a Thunderbolt, and within range of a bodyguard mech or one that can respond to flankers, like a Centurion, Vindicator, or Wolverine. During the first few movement phases, the Awesome should be activated in the middle or late in the initiative. Too early and the enemy may move their mechs in such a way as to make the main fight take place outside of the Awesome's optimal 7-12 to 12 hex range. If this happens, the Awesome pilot should strongly consider repositioning rather than shoot inaccurately with its PPCs at long range. The pilot's first goal is to move as fast as possible to the pre-designated position. On the way, it can fire snapshots with its PPCs in groups of 2s or 3s, but it should make sure its heat sinks to 0 by the time it gets in position. 
Once in position, the awesome can be activated later in the initiative, and should generally target slower moving but well armored mechs. It should maximize its damage output by remaining stationary and shooting 3 volleys of 3 PPCs before firing 2 PPCs to cool it back down to zero heat. If they need to, pilots can choose to push their heat and fire up to 3 more volleys of 3 PPCs. This will increase the awesome's damage in the short term at the cost of long term sustained damage. The rest of the Lancer company should be designed around the awesome as the anchor mech. They should work to enable the awesome to remain stationary by intercepting flankers and blocking brawlers trying to push inside a 6 hex range. While shooting, awesome pilots should judge the speed at which the enemy is closing. If the pilot thinks their target will cross over from long to medium range on the next turn, they should consider resetting their heat back to zero early by firing two PPCs instead of three. This will allow it to take the next nine PPC shots at a higher accuracy. The same consideration is made when the enemy crosses over from medium to short range, but if the enemy has weak or no armor in two or more locations, the awesome should consider charging to finish it off. This is particularly true if the mech has some sort of leg damage, as a charge from three or more hexes will potentially cause the mech to topple over. Pilots should be aware this will expose the awesome to return fire, but it's often better to be the mech that charges instead of receiving the charge. Once in melee, it should finish off its victims with its two punches, small laser, and fire its two chest-mounted PPCs at point-blank range. Shown here is a good starter lens that builds around the awesome. All the mechs shown are available in the A Game of Armored Combat starter set. The awesome acts as the unit's anchor, while the Thunderbolt challenges any incoming brawlers. The Shadowhawk and Wolverine are used as the unit's flexible flanker and bodyguard mechs. If you're curious about how to optimally pilot the other mechs, please check the other mercenary guides on this channel. Yeah, we win.